taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come into the Hey, tasties, welcome to T-A-S-T-E Buds. buds. All uh, right, we got a nice summertime battle for you today. The Rocket Pop, a.k.a. Time. the Bomb Pop versus the Cream Sickle. Sal is defending the disgusting, revolting Cream Sickle, and I am defending the wonderful, fruity, vivacious Rocket pop. Vivacious? Vivacious. 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 You think you would describe the rocket pop as vivacious? I'm just talking here. I have a way with words, and I let them flow, and they come out in the way they come out, and people find it quite pleasing, to be honest. The rocket pop has its place in the annals of ice cream truck and summertime history. We've all grown up with it. Right. It's never been... A grand slam treat. Please. It is fine. Please. It's fine. Please. A summer icy is nice. I do love the shape of it because the top of the ridges actually make it more fun, the texture of it. But at the end of the day, it's the most basic of items. It's a it's a it's a it's a palatable you enough. Jump right into battle. We can jump right into this. Because it sounds like you want to jump right it's in. It's a palatable enough cherry. Okay, you ready? Sure. You ready? Yeah. And I can already feel that this might be a tense <laughs> okay. one. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't change. It's okay. Right. Don't worry about it. You'll never change. I've learned that about you. <laughs> I learned that you a learned long time ago. You learned that about me? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Do we need a chant? <laughs> nah, I, I'm just ready to go. All right. All right. Let's do a salty. Let's, go. let's, <laughs> really? let's kick it up. Yeah, right. let's kick it up. It's time to get salty. It's time, time to get, get salty. salty. That's I thought you were going to do B-A-T-T-L-E buds first. No, no, no. All right, all right. No, no. Well, I was going to do it the way we always do it. All right, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. It's time, time to get salty. salty. It's time to get salty. It's time to get salty. You have the brain of a goat. I've never seen anything like it. Whoa. I've never seen a man forget things more. You can't I remember the medication. order that we do the chants in. <laughs> you, you forget that. Are goats, are goats known to be dumb? I don't think they're smart. <laughs> you know, I, I, is a goat smart? Yeah, yeah. For an animal, You're it's right. smart. I am the goat. Yes, I would say You're right. I'm the goat. Yes, I would say at an animal. Goats are just as clever as dogs, and new research shows they form relationships, they problem solve, and they communicate with humans in much the same way as dogs. And yes, I got the brain as, of a goat. Yeah, and as and I've, as I was always said about you, have the you, brain of a you have goldfish. The, you have the mind goldfish of goldfish would have been better. You're because I forget. You're as, Sal, you're, I'm telling you that you're as smart as the smartest beast, okay? <laughs> I have diagnosed to severe ADHD. No shit. And it's, it, it actually is, I battle every day. I, I mean, if it was undiagnosed, you'd have a hell of a malpractice suit on your hands. <laughs> at this point. I battle it every day. You battle it? Yes. Oh, come talk to the rest of us. <laughs> I, I swear I uh, don't ready? see the poll. I, I swear I don't see the poll on here. When, did you send it out last night or? No, really? Okay, hold on one second. This is good. <laughs> this is great for momentum. Oh, it, it said your tweet was sent, but it, it might have said it just. It, this happened last week. Yo, yo, Elon. I hit send on that shit and shut my phone off. I gotta have it open and on to, to send a tweet now. It's, it's right now. there. No, it just popped up. I I I put that up an hour and All a half right. ago. Ready? God damn it, muscle. Ready? Yeah. Do you remember what we're doing? Goat brain? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Speaking of goat brain, I just spilled a drink, but it's orange, and it's staining the carpet. I mean, you spilled you spilled drink on yourself the last show. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Kick a guy while he's down. I will. All right, ready? Yeah. It's, it's time, time to get, get salty. salty. It's time to get salty. It's time to get salty. You know why you were sick? Boy. Not because you have hay fever. Not because you, you, you know. You just don't know when to stop. <laughs> You're sick all the time because you put yourself in a constant position to get sick. You traipse around town. You hang out with unsavory types. <laughs> You're in all sorts of dive institutions, and your mouth is touching stuff all the time that probably isn't clean properly. Oh, yeah. You're, sometimes you decide to smoke. No, I don't smoke. I haven't, had a cigarette. I haven't had a cigarette in over a year, year and a half. But you're always sick because you're always out. And I think that subconsciously, 
You're looking for it. All right. Fair enough. I think that you could curb the amount of times you're like, I got something. Something I'm run down. I got a bug. I said something must have happened. I got. I got. I don't know. I. You know. I don't disagree. You with could you. eliminate that, but you refuse. I don't disagree with to you to eliminate the lifestyle that lends. To you know it. what I eliminated yesterday when I felt sick. You know what I always do when I feel sick. I order McDonald's delivery. I didn't do it <laughs> yesterday. Bring it, don't bring it up. I didn't do it yesterday. I didn't episode. do it yesterday. I didn't do it yesterday because I said no. I have to try. <laughs> McDonald's to- is probably the worst thing to nurse a cold. It's not good for you. I know. I do it every time I'm sick though. It's for comfort food. Yeah. You know what I did yesterday? I did a Red Baron pizza, and I called it a day. <laughs> Is that a frozen pizza? Yeah. <laughs> Why Red Baron? It's what they had on the uh, GoPuff app to deliver. So I ordered Go it. GoPuff? Yeah, it's a delivery app. I've never heard of it. It's like groceries in 10 minutes, like one of those things. 10 minutes? Sometimes it's like 15 minutes, yeah, 10 minutes, 20 right. minutes. Like, it's fast. Go to they have limited selection. GoPuff, they don't sponsor us, but they're no, great. They should. Anyway. Shout out GoPuff. If you're watching, we know that you are. Sponsor us. Anyway. Yeah, and then... All right, well, anyway, all right. okay, fine. Let's get into so it. So the rocket pop. Wait, we, okay. we, we got to do the... Okay. It's time to... V-A-T-T-L-E buds! All right. I just spelled battle wrong, too. Holy God. There's an average red ice in there, an average lemon ice in there, and an oh, average blue ice in there. stop it, Sal! No, you, you, there's... It's well, water ice w- flavor. Water ice, water ice has levels, like a Rouse water ice or even a Rita's water ice. Is, or even a Marino's is next level up. But a Ralph, let's say a Ralph. Ralph, I, I hold the standard to. If you don't know what that is. Ralph is Staten Island mainly. But it's, no, now it's global. Oh, it is? Well, so yeah. is Rita's. Is it global? not? I believe so. Okay. So Whatever. Ralph, Ralph water is the But a Marino's is, is your average that supermarket is a, red, uh, water That's ice. That is a, not even a bursting with taste. It's a watered down watery ice pop. That's I'll not tell you true. I'll two things I don't like about it off the bat. One, the wrapper always gets stuck to it. When you're opening, because of the freezer burn that that pop has. That's every popsicle ever of all time ever. This one particularly, because it has no. grooves. And when you go, now all of a sudden the bag grips, and now you're touching the ice, and it's melting, and you're getting sticky hands because you're trying to peel the rest of the wrapper off. Right. I just want to point. I just want to point a fact out that just showed on the uh, Wikipedia. Scroll down a tiny bit, pimp. Just stop. Okay. Any child wanted to win a Nintendo Game Boy had to fill out their personal information. Da, 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 da. BombPop.com did a thing, did a promotion with Nintendo and Game Boy. In 2003, Walt Disney Company made a deal with Wells Dairy to release Buzz Lightyear Bomb Pops. This is the level that the Rocket Pop and Bomb Pop are reaching. They're making deals with Disney and Nintendo. Okay, I think it's more aesthetic than taste. And we battle nuts. taste. You're wrong. We battle taste. It it's is called so taste buds, ref- not aesthetic buds. <laughs> <laughs> it is so refreshing. It is not a mediocre watered-down version. And you want to talk mediocre, you're... T- Oh, my God, dude. The creamsicle. The worst flavor of a, a popsicle are, that nobody cares about. Orange. This is the, the worst and take you've had ice in the history cream. of and taste Vanilla buds. ice cream. Nobody cares about either of these flavors. This is the worst take you've had in the history of taste buds. No, it's not. Okay? Yes, it is. No, it's not. Why? Because the creamsicle, there are, there are a few things in our world that combine to make something greater than what they are alone. Things that if they didn't exist, like someone is someone combined peanut butter and chocolate. And blew everyone's balls off, right? Those two. Yeah, cream sickle ain't no peanut butter and chocolate. You don't think that You're nuts. a delightful orange sherbet nope. combined with a creamy vanilla ice cream? Nope. Even the texture, when you when you bite the cream sickle, the outer orange layer almost acts as a shell. It slightly has a little bit of a crisp or um, a, a rigidness to it where it breaks almost like in pieces of like... Like ice, and then the cream Those underneath. Those pieces fall off. The cream starts the to cream, melt. The cream run. underneath does not have that consistency. So it is so much fun to to eat. It really is fun to eat. Where I think the bomb pop poses it's one of the a mess- problem. The cream sickle is the messiest of all pops. The bomb pop is messier no, than the, the bom- cream sickle. It's not. The bomb pop has the qualities of every popsicle that existed bomb, ever. You you unwrap the bomb pop. The cream sickle. You, it's mission, impo- mission impossible. You might as well hear the theme song. What are you talking about? Because you're about? racing against the clock before that thing melts That's all over That's what you're you. doing with any popsicle. Whereas what? with the cream sickle. not a popsicle. With Mine's the cream sickle, you have two elements that are melting at different uh, ticks. The, the, the popsicle part of the creamsicle and the ice cream are melting at two different paces. Incorrect. I'll tell you why. The inside vanilla is basically covered 
by the orange, and that core temperature of the vanilla is staying Let me cold. Tell you where your problem and is. that reflects on the outer orange shell. Let me tell shell. you where your problem is, bud. Let me tell you where your problem is, bud. Go ahead. The bottom. The bottom is never covered by orange. There is a circle of exposed vanilla at the bottom around the stick, and, I, and that starts and to I drip. And I love that. You know why? That starts to drip. I because that's the only access point for the drip. And once that begins, which is probably 50% into the pop, no way. I actually have a fun time going reverse and licking the backside oh, of the creamsicle. Oh, stop that's it. That's right. That's Stop right. it. But the bomb pop You're will start, talking out of your backside. The bomb pop or the rocket pop will start dripping from all of its surfaces. Oh. And it's going to be sticky. So and, will the orange. And I hope you don't get any of that dye on your white Bart Simpson t-shirt. So wait a second. <laughs> Are you going to sit here and say the creamsicle outer thing doesn't drip also? No. From the outside? It does not. Yes, it does. It's it a does popsicle. It's, a, it's consistency does not drip. And the inside vanilla ice cream acts as a basically frosting device to keep that outer shell oh, you're, locked up. You're, you're, this is such But I'm talking nonsense. about experience. This is, oh my God. If gosh. I took, okay, you know what I wish we had? If I put a creamsicle and a rocket pop on the table, on a plate, which one do you think is going to melt first? I promise you, it's the bomb pop. <laughs> I promise you. I, I, I don't know what that's based on in any way, it's shape, It's based or on form. what I just said. I, I, I disagree. I think, I think they melt differently. Sure, I'll agree with that part. I think the melting of the creamsicle is far more problematic and annoying because you're dealing with a melting exterior of of popsicle and a melting interior of ice cream. And your creamsicle, first of all, that part let me is focus. the magic. Let me focus when the on ice cream and the orange combine the vanilla. Let me and the focus on the bigger to issue. Make the creamsicle. Let me focus on the bigger issue. Two flavors. You sat here and compared this to peanut butter and chocolate. Two flavors that do not. Go together. They couldn't go together more. Orange and vanilla. They couldn't go together more. Yeah, because every time I'm in the store, I see orange ice cream all the time. It's not ice cream. You've never. It's sherbet. It it the popsicle part is just orange popsicle it's flavor. Sherbet. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it is not. No, it is not. That is orange popsicle flavor. Oh, that was an interesting one, pimp. Go back to that one second. Did you know the cream sickle was made in 1905 by 11-year-old Frank Epperson, who experimented yep. with putting fruit juice fruit around juice. the ice cream? I love fruit that. Fruit juice is not sherbet. Fruit is, juice is popsicle flavor. Babe, this is 1905 with an 11-year-old. Okay, yeah. this is not what we're talking about right now. Okay, it is orange popsicle around vanilla also ice cream. Also known as a dream sickle. Why do they think they call it a dream sickle? Because you got it. Be, tastes gross. You got it, it because it's a nightmare to eat it. Uh, Dude, you got it. You got it. It. I am telling you something. Cream sickle is orange popsicle. Orange popsicle. It is not sherbet. Iced orange juice. Orange juice coating, coating on the that's not ice cream. It doesn't my it's point not is the it's flavors not, it's not don't orange matter. ice cream. But my point is this you never see you never see ice cream with orange bits in it because it doesn't match. This is it. This is the ice cream with the orange in it. This it's is gross, it. Gross, dude. No, you also you can dude. buy you can buy a a gallon of ice cream that's half sherbet, half vanilla, and you can buy a cream. It's sickle. not sherbet flavor. It's, it's what are we arguing here, Joe? It's yours is made up of. You can get your watery red ice, your watery lemon ice, and your watery blue ice. Your thing is singular, alone, and from ten different companies. There's only one cream sickle pop. It, it's, it's its own invention. Here's my point. It's, its own invention. Your, yours is just water your ice. Your exterior, put together. your exterior is watery orange sickle. It is not sherbet flavor. You think it's sherbet flavor because you're mashing it with the vanilla flavor. I don't. I don't have any interest in getting into the semantics of what you think the that's, outer shell consists of. That's not semantics. I'm still talking about taste and texture. I am talking about Whatever taste. Whatever it's made of, it's delicious. I am talking about taste. The flavor of tart orange does not mix well with vanilla flavor. It also doesn't. The name bomb pop. Rocket pop, baby. Rocket pop. Rocket pop. Why do they call it bomb pop? It seems almost poetic that amidst the threat of nuclear warfare. Yeah. A Bernathy and Merritt, I guess this is the people, came up with a frozen treat to cool down temperaments all over the nation. The awesome. pop was shaped like a bomb. Awesome. With six spins, hence the name Bomb Bomb, and its color scheme reflected the patriotic zeitgeist of the American awesome. the America during the Cold War. Awesome. <laughs> so National the, Bomb Pop Day. So is the, there a creamsicle day? I, I sure there is. I don't think so. So the Bomb Pop is, 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 literally, is literally fashioned after a weapon of mass destruction. It's fashion after a nuclear yeah. bomb. Yeah, it's badass, dude. It's badass with your little cream sickle. <laughs>
stay, dude. You yeah. can't eat a bomb pop. Go eat a, looking like Jenna Jameson. Go eat a. That's <laughs> another problem with the bomb pop. It's phallic, and everyone who has to eat it has to everything you're saying shit. is awesome, dude. Bombs, <laughs> Jenna Jameson, dicks. It all sounds pretty great to me, dude. Now go eat a creamsicle you, with the Munchkins in Oz or wherever they eat those things. <laughs> what? A cream sickle, it's like a fairyland a treat. The cream is sickle. easier to eat. You have to blow a bomb pop. You have to blow it. You gotta blow it. This guy is saying my pop is phallic when his injects cream from the center of it into your mouth. My pop is well, phallic. Well, then they both have uh, have some traits. Then, dude, my pop is na is is Americana. It's um, it's, yeah. it's it's a nuclear it's pride. Warhead. It's na it's 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 American. It's it's old uh, school. Or Americana. Cream sickle is is has been around since 1905 and everyone loves it. When was it's just as oh, American Bob, Bob, as Bob. We already said. All right, sorry. Okay. Dude, you you're gonna sit here. You got a sack. At the end of the day, you got a water. sack of balls on you right now. That you're gonna try to argue that the flavors of vanilla and orange are better than the flavors of cherry all day, lemon, and whatever the blue is. I don't all know day. what the blue yeah, is. Keep chugging down that that dye. That's gonna give you cancer. Oh yeah, because I'm sure you have pure. You said yourself, your 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 exterior is not orange juice. It is not frozen juice. <laughs> you got dye around the exterior of that thing. Uh, I I honestly believe that. There's no contest that the, the the creamy vanilla ice cream and the orange outer shell is a I mean a, I mean I mean on any day Ever twice on Sunday better than the combination of that watery down red <laughs> red lemon and blue Ever taste. since a young <laughs> I see <laughs> I like, Ever since I was a young boy <laughs> Dude when I was a young boy we'd go to the mall and there was the orange julius stand and my mom would always get me an orange Julius because I would say, oh, I, that looks so fun. I want to try it. I'd take two sips and i go, I hate this because it was creamsicle flavor. I, ever since I was a kid. Every time that happened? Yes. It, well, so it happened, you it happened three times because I was a dumb kid and I thought I, would, I, would, I, thought oh, I was missing right, something. All right. Goat boy. Uh, I am telling you something. Cream. <laughs> only Nazis pick creamsicle. <laughs> <laughs> I am telling you, ever since I was a young kid, orange and Vanilla ice cream did not match his flavors to me. For I don't me, know how else to for say. For me, the first time I had sherbet, and and by way of like a push pop too, which we've talked about on the last episode, a push pop might have gone up against his better than a cream sickle, but it's the same taste of orange. And I was like, what is this? Like it's it it, it blew my mind. Oh, and I just realized red the red mines red white and blue. It's old glory. It's, we just said that it was it was based oh, on. Oh, I, I missed that. America's part. colors because it was a warhead during the Cold War. Which communist didn't pick the bomb? <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. We're gonna hit all the people with the friggin'. Folks, Joe DeRosa here to talk to you about our sponsor, Game Time. You ever try to buy last minute tickets to an event? We all have, and it's stressful. Well, Game Time is here to help you relieve the stress, alleviate the stress, eliminate the stress of buying those tickets. Why? Because they're going to get you the best tickets available for the best price available, the best seats available, all of it in one place, so you can focus on what you want to focus on the fun of the event. I'm telling you, it happens to us all. You want to go to something, you think something sounds fun, you, you, uh, you know, spontaneously, let's go, and then it's a nightmare trying to figure out how you're going to get there, what are the seats going to look like, whatever. Game Time is here to help you deal with all that. They even have pictures of what it looks like from your seat, so you can see what the view is from your seat. And they're offering 110% of the difference if you are able to find tickets in that same section or row for less. It's amazing. It's just it's just incredible. Anyway, download the Game Time app, create an account, and use promo code TasteBuds. You're going to get twenty dollars off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem the code TasteBuds for twenty dollars off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Folks, Joe DeRosa here. Let me talk to you about Rocket Money. Rocket Money is helping you figure out what those things are that you're subscribing to that you often forget about. They're putting all your subscriptions in one place so you can manage them probably cancel a few of them, let's be honest, because you forgot you subscribed in the first place, and save some 
cash. Rocket Money actually did help me save money every month, and they helped me figure out things that I had subscribed to that I completely forgot about. It's a personal finance app. It's going to find and cancel all those unwanted subscriptions. It monitors your spending, and it helps you lower your bills, and it's all in one place. So stop throwing money away, cancel the unwanted subscriptions, and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash taste buds. That's rocketmoney.com slash taste buds. Rocketmoney.com slash taste buds. Folks, Joe DeRosa here. My new record, the Penthouse Papers, collected readings, is dropping with a special thing records on June 9th. I had a two year long op ed column with Penthouse uh, magazine, and we got all my columns together and I read them into a microphone. And from that microphone to your ears. How about that, folks? It's a nice, easy listen. It's sort of like an audio book. I want you to check it out. I think you're going to like it. I'm really proud of the writing. I'm really proud of the pieces. I was proud of them when they ran in the magazine, and I'm still proud of them, and I hope you enjoy them, and that's why we put this all together. Uh, also, if you're in New York, come to Joey Rose's, open seven days a week, 11.30 a.m. each morning, open into the night, sandwiches available all day long, affordable drinks, affordable food, always a good time, Joey Rose's nyc.com for detail and you can get that album where digitally on any platform you stream your music from uh, and if you want to buy it you can actually pay to download it from one of those sites like itunes that'll charge you uh, but anyway no physical release just a digital thing to lull you to sleep each night What's up, guys? First things first, the Impractical Jokers Cruise is happening January 22nd to the 26th, 2024. We are hosting it with Eric Andre. Uh, there's going to be a ton of comics and bands and DJs. It's our fifth one. You can get tickets right now. It's 65% sold out uh, at pre-sale, so get tickets right now at GetShipFacedCruise.com. You could also enter to win a free trip. Impractical Jokers are finishing out the first leg of our tour now through July all uh, dates and tickets are available at ImpracticalJokersLive.com. In the coming weeks, we have Minneapolis, Des Moines, Kansas City, Nashville, uh, St. Louis, and am I forgetting anything? That's it. <laughs> with, uh, with the... Uh, oh, look, this one's for you. Rocket Pops are generic flavored ice, while Creamsicle is delicious and creamy. And original. It, it's one of one. The Rocket Pop is... is it's just an amalgamation of some watered down flavors of ice that aren't at at its best. The rocket pop is like okay, a great creamsicle really hits the spot. Like a rocket pop, like I might not even have a rocket <laughs> pop if it was offered to me. Thinking of a bomb pop don't makes me creamsicle. Sense. I was listening to you. Yeah, what did USA. I, say? <laughs> I don't know. I was. Yeah. <laughs> Thinking of a bomb pop makes me creamsicle. <laughs> USA, USA, USA. Rocket pop represent all that's good in this country. Creamsicles taste like sherbet and shame. Hence, sure. why DeRosa probably picked it. I love when they think I picked the wrong thing. It makes me happy. Man, what, what I are just you... don't. I don't get it because if we put vanilla ice cream against the firecracker, it would get destroyed. The firecracker? You, the rocket pop. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, oh, I don't. I don't know. I don't think. I think dude, if you cream. put sherbet, orange sherbet against it. Or vanilla ice cream against it. I think both would. I love be orange it. sherbet. So then why wouldn't? I love orange sherbet. Orange sherbet is not. <laughs> Dude, sometimes I have a quick flash of, in front of my face of me choking you. Orange sherbet is not vanilla and orange flavor. I just pictured myself grabbing you like this and putting you against the wall. Orange sherbet is not vanilla and orange flavor. And then shoving a fucking cream sickle in your mouth. But orange sherbet is not vanilla and orange flavor. But it is the outer layer of the it vanilla. It is not, Sal. It tastes the outer layer. I didn't say... It's gotta be. It's, can you please look up what the new pop, pop is, not the 1905 11-year-old boy pop? Sickle, I should call it. Also, I think cream sickle... Homemade cream sickle. Not orange homemade, juice. Not homemade. Mandarin orange. Orange not juice. homemade. Store-bought, please. Store-bought. Okay. You're, they're saying solid sherbet exterior... But is this what you're talking about? Are you talking? Stop. Don't brush past it that you were wrong. Hold on. Do not brush past it. I'm not brushing past it. This is a new thing it. you do. I'm not brushing. Like with the eggplant. He Googled eggplant pizza and hundreds and of photos came bullshit. up and you brushed past it. 
I'm not brushing past it. Fine. It's got a new... I'm not at a... I'm not brushing past you, it. Son, you guys keep stumbling over no, your No, I'm not brushing past it. Humana, Can I say humana, something? Humana. Can I say something? Yeah. I have not had a creamsicle since I was a young child when they were only the single... Not like that well, why wide Why are you thing. shooting your mouth off if you don't know nothing about it? Because I didn't know they changed because they're so iconic and they're so this and they're Joe, so that. Stop trying to dig your house. Here's the point. Stop trying to dig yourself Here's out of a hole point. with a goddamn stone. I, was t- I, I, am ref- I will admit that I am wrong on the exterior. But you just spent 10 minutes of this episode yelling at me about now, it. Now, I'm telling you, the cream sickle I was talking about is the single. You know what I'm talking about, right? That was like a flat wide thing. I've never even seen that. That's what I'm t- That's the thing. I've never seen that. I've seen the single popsicle style one. Oh, okay. You're talking about the other phallic one. Yes. Okay. But that's, that's the only one I know that's about. The same thing. Okay, but that thing was like orange. That one. Yeah, that's the that same is thing. orange popsicle with our or vanilla ice cream in the middle. It is not an, a sherbet exterior. It's just not. I, mean, I guess by company, you want to split hairs, but you, you know. I'm not splitting hairs. It's called the creamsicle, the original cream pop. That's the original. So so, let's open that and see if it's sherbet. Like, ask, okay. is, is, is the cream sh- I mean, it just said what it was. It said it was sherbet. Well, no, no, no. The picture of that thing that they. Sh- Give me the contents, pimp. Well, this probably well, this, that, this that's might not say. Yeah, yeah, this is not going to say. But that. I would willing be willing to bet, Sal, that because it's made by a company called Popsicle, it's probably orange Popsicle with I cream don't care in the what middle. You're willing to bet because you're just proven wrong after ten minutes of shouting like an old I man. I wasn't proven wrong. There's a version of it with orange sherbet. Yes, I am saying you are you are correct. Okay, the, here's another thing that's now <laughs> saying read, read it, it out. Read it now. Read it out loud. <laughs> read it out loud slow with good diction, please. You have the floor. Okay, so we're going to go off of, ready for the website for reference? <laughs> Your homebasedmom.com versus the brand Popsicle that makes the original orange Read what it says. fucking creamsicle. Read what it says. What is a creamsicle? Good humor cream ice cream. Creamsicles were always my summer treat of choice when the neighborhood good humor ice cream man came to visit. A creamy vanilla ice po- ice cream popsicle coated in a layer of orange sherbet. Okay. It screams summer. Still doesn't mean that I think orange sherbet and vanilla ice cream go together. Let's take it. That's t- Fine. I'm 100% wrong. Orange sherbet and vanilla ice cream still don't mesh. Mesh for me. Except they do. It's a, it's a multi-million dollar industry for, since sucks. 1905. I think it tastes like shit. Okay. Sorry. I think it tastes like shit. But you think that... Honestly, I like Joe, orange sherbet. Joe, is it my favorite sherbet? No. Best, the best Absolutely rocket not. pop is just Here we kind go. of watery down cherry Here we lemon. Go. The best ice pop. Here I'm we not go. saying it doesn't have its time and place. I'm not saying it doesn't hit a spot. But the rocket pop, really, if you just really are honest with yourself, it's not great. It's just... Ice water. It's just even the cherry. It's not like it's. It is it not just like, ice water, t- and it doesn't taste like Sal. that. Lemon never tastes real. Yes, it's, that lemon tastes chemically. This is and Sal, blue, This is pathetic. You don't even know what the taste is. This is pathetic. What's the flavor of blue? This is pathetic. I told you I don't know, oh, but this you is don't, pa- you don't see that as an issue. It tastes blue. That's what it tastes like. It tastes good. You don't see that as an issue. No, I don't care. When your You're lips, careless. when your taste buds taste the blue, what is your brain telling My you? My assumption taste is? is blue raspberry always. That's what I always think it is. And I'm willing to What's bet. What's blue raspberry? It's a flavor of something that you'll find in your blow pops and Jolly Ranchers and that sort of thing. Blue raspberry. And that, that blue raspberry listen, goes with lemon. Listen to the words. Cherry. Listen to how much more awesome the words are together. Blue raspberry, orange pop. Ugh. Those Ugh. things didn't sound anything Vanilla you just ice said them cream. Vanilla ice cream. There's a reason vanilla is an it insult. Is so funny to try There's to, a reason vanilla is an insult. You try to dress up blue raspberry just by the way you blue say raspberry. it. Like blue oh. raspberry. Blue raspberry. Blue raspberry. Blue raspberry. The name of a singer that runs with Wu Tang. Literally, there's a singer named Blue Raspberry that that features on Wu Tang Clan songs. Yes, that is cooler than vanilla ice cream. A hundred percent. It's cooler than the word creamsicle. Yes, I I disagree. Um, Creamsicle. No, I said is it's cooler than the word vanilla ice cream. Creamsicle. I said is it's cool. No, I said it's cooler than the word vanilla ice cream. All right. You're talking about. You're taking one ingredient of mine, and I'm putting it against one ingredient of yours. You want to take title of each. Rocket Pop demolishes creamsicle. I disagree. Creamsicle is a brand new word invented just for that. It doesn't exist elsewhere. So is Rocket Pop. Rocket 
pop. Cream, sickle. Those are words two that words. exist. So cream sickle's one word. Cream and sickle are two different words that exist separately. It's one word. Oh God. This is it's you're, one you're word. out of a your cream mind. Cream sickle. This is not, insane. The word cream sickle did not exist please, outside of this. Please tree. time stamp this as the craziest argument Sal has ever tried to make in the history <laughs> I, I of this fucking show. I think this is your show. worst. I think this is this your is worst. This is so insane. You're ever. actually arguing that the space between the words is a detriment. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that cream sickle is a cooler word. It's an invented word. So is cream sickle is one word that was invented because they it, decided to not put a space. Rocket pop could be one word. What are we talking about here? It's not one word. Sal, it's the name of something. Cream sickle is the name of something. Words combined. Cream sickle, cream sickle is, is two word. words combined. If you look up rocket pop in the dictionary, it's not there. Neither is cream sickle. But it would be because it's one word. Oh my god, Sal. Oh my god. Sal. I think it's cool because I think they invented a name. They invented the name with Rocket Pop, too. But they invented a word. Rocket Pop didn't invent a By word. By putting two words together. Sure, that's how you do it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. okay. Sure. Great. Yeah, great. it's a word. Grant's great. No, we don't agree. So we're in agreement. We don't agree. Creamsicle no, is a singular word. We don't agree. Creamsicle is a singular word. Crazy asshole. Creamsicle. Now you just want to go against just grammar? Just English language. I want to go against grammar. You're going against grammar. Creamsicle. Is a brand new invented singular word. It's a that, name, that Sal. Means one it's thing not a that word. It didn't exist before it's, the cream Sal, it's not a word. Rocket and pop are two words that it's exist. It's not a word it, it, in the sense of dictionary word. It's a name they gave something, okay? Joe is a name. It's not in the but dictionary. It's a, but it is it's a, a name. word that never existed before. A Neither did word. Rocket Pop. Dude, Rocket and Pop are words that were put together. You're not you're not getting you you're not getting what I'm saying. No, is because any, it's is, so crazy. Is anything in Rocket Pop a word that didn't exist before Rocket Pop? And nothing in Cream I'm Sickle just, never exists. I'm just exists. saying something factual, Joe. Sal. Cream Sickle is a word that didn't Cream exist. Sickle is two words they mush together to make a name for a popsicle. You can't just say any word that's one lang one word in the English dictionary was just two words mushed together. It's not in the English dictionary. <laughs> Cream Sickle is not a real word. It's a fucking name for a popsicle they made up. It's not in the dictionary. Uh, but that's not what I'm saying, dickhead. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm just saying that it is a brand new word that was invented. Okay, here's, the, here's what you're saying. Ready? Here's what you're saying. This person's name is Mary Jo, spelled M-A-R-Y-J-O. This person's name is Mary Jo, spelled M-A-R-Y space J-O-E. That name is more valid and inventive That's because there's saying. not a space between the That's two not words. What I'm saying. That's exactly Everything what you're saying. Everything you said exists already. Everything you said, sickle and cream are two different words. But it's one word. It reforms a new word. I think that you are ridiculous to even just push back on okay. something that's just plain. Let's factual. move on. This is this is. I think it's neat that those this two is things become one word. Literally the w most angry I've ever been ever at an argument you've made. I'm <laughs> I'm suppressing my anger as well. Oh God, sickle a suffix combined. Okay, so my sickle will be spelled different. So you might have a void. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Hold on, man. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Anybody got a Xanax? I need to. I need to. I need to. My mic didn't come out, did it? No, no. I need to hold on a second here. Because I'm. I. I got lightheaded. I got lightheaded. There's no one on this goddamn planet that, that makes me want to murder someone or have a heart attack at the exact same time. I thought my mom. You know the pride I, I take in that. My mom was tough to deal with. Do you know the pride I take in that? You are like, you are like, my mom's like the grasshopper to your whatever the fuck you are. You I'm the master. enrage me. And I have to imagine I'm the master at the that top you of just the, enrage mountain. our listeners. You got to climb the and mountain if, to get if, to me. And if you were on his side with all that jibber jabber a second ago, and then he just proved himself wrong, and then it has a little chuckle about it, like it wasn't aggravating, and he didn't take up our time for another 10 minutes, then you're wrong. That's two times in this episode for 20 minutes, Hume, that you argued and shouted at my face and then went, okay, so I'm wrong. <laughs> I hate you. Feels so good. 
Cream sickles, the new ports. <laughs> Actually, I would say rocket pop is that, rocket no. pop is better in that sentence for that joke. No, it's not. Cream sickles, that's it's that person's joke. It's funny. It made yeah, us but both I'm a, laugh. I'm a professional comedian, and rocket pop would land bit better. Oh God. Well, yes, okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry, the fan who's not a professional comedian that made us both laugh oh. didn't nail the bit well, in the way you would. Don't because it's me. against your thing. Don't come at me with, with, with garbage. You pie. laughed at it, you asshole. You <laughs> laughed at it. The concept, but oh, I immediately shut said, up. The hey, concept. Cream sickle. What up? Because it doesn't resonate. That's what not a true. Rick. That's not true. <laughs> Give me a break. Joe. Joe. So let's Rocket go back. pops are for people who think there are only two genders. <laughs> <laughs> Look, can can you hey Dick? Hey Dick. Yeah, can you listening. talk about how you were you just you just admitted that you were completely wrong after shouting at me? Yeah, I, I said it already. I was wrong. Why would you do that? Why would you? Because I thought it was right. But, but 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 why do you think that you can have the gusto and the gall to shout at someone when your argument is unchecked? Because I thought I was right. Because sickle is a word. But you and I thought it was. I didn't know it was spelled different. Are you nuts, bro? No. Did you ever see the Lord popsicle anywhere? Sure, I have. You think it's spelled like sickle from the Grim Reaper? Can't, Im- can't imagine I haven't come sickle across Sickle cell there. anemia? What did you think? <laughs> who, who am I to know? Who are you to know is what you're saying now, yet that's what you based your shouting at me on for 20 minutes of yeah. this episode? Okay, as long as we're clear. Yeah. As long as we're clear. Yeah, well, I thought I was right. You got to understand something. I thought I was right, which made me right in that time. But you don't, and then I had you the, don't bother I to had, check if you're right, and that's what will eventually lead to me having a stroke. I had the strength to say I'm wrong. The str- now you're patting yourself on the back yeah. for wasting our time. I have the character. Now it's strength. I have the character to now say I was strength. wrong. I have the character to okay. say I was wrong. Okay. I Your I bullshit wrong. is being recategorized as strength? Character. Character. Character, yeah. 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 You, I Ethics. can tell from your face that you don't believe a word you're saying. <laughs> you'll never know, will you? No, we know. We know. Zoom in on that. We know. <laughs> no, I'm saying your you'll smug, never know. Your smirk indicates to me that you know you're full of horse shit. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Oh. Mountain Dew's newest flavor is Bomb Pop inspired Summer yes. Freeze. So, which so one is, is the new port of ice cream? And so is, is and it the so Mountain is Twisted Dew? Tea has a Rocket Pop flavor. Is it the Mountain Dew Bomb Pop flavor? Uh, I would like to read more of the phones because these these all seem very funny. Where are we at, Pimpy? Uh, Thirty three. Okay, cool. Cream sickle rock. Cream sickle Rocket Bar is okay though too. The Prime flavor is good, but you can't beat a Cream sickle. Never heard of a rocket pop? Come on, dude. The, the mi- can read, the, read the whole thing. The mix of two are different layers of the two different layers are the goat. I don't agree. Goat is the uh, goat. How has this guy never heard of a rocket pop? Sucking on a rocket p- pop is more American than standing for the national anthem. Sucking on a rocket pop is... Oh, wow, that's a good one. Cre- NC7. Cream spelled like Wu-Tang style. That's yep, good. That's word. I wouldn't get either from the ice cream truck... But orange cream sickles are such a unique treat. I got to go for that over the also delicious. Come on, let me pop. get. Come on, cream sickles. This might be c- close today because we're seeing some. Ah, shit! I like both, but whoever chooses to mix dairy ice cream with orange sherbet, sherbet are the people that like orange flavored chocolate. Thank you, and brush their teeth after drinking orange juice. Oh wow! Ice cream truck in my hood. We give away items that were. Close to ex- expiration for free. Even the homeless people didn't want the cream sickles. <laughs> Joe can pop my rocket. Oh wow! Thank you very much, Larissa. Wait, how does she know that your rocket pop? She's just. I don't think she does. She's just saying, okay. you know, or maybe she does just through osmosis. Rocket pops are heaven scent sticks, and if you choose a thick ass, heavy ass cream sickle over a light and succulent bomb pop, you're wrong. That's a terrible take. Why is it terrible? Because it's true. There. They're not heaven sent sticks. And what does she mean? That's her opinion. A heavy cream sickle? What yeah, cream sickle's about? heavier. It has cream in it. Heavier? Are I, we talking about fractions of ounces right now? Oh, please, fractions of ounces. Heavy as cream, if it's heavy as, as it's cream is a heavier trait. thing to eat than, than a popsicle. Yes. You want to talk facts now? Come on, dude. Oh, you know, you're the same as me. You you throw shit out the window when you don't want to hear it. Do you act like you're better than me? You're no better than me. You're safe. I don't act like that, Joe. You, you know why you don't like me? Because I'm a mirror. You lunatic. You know what? You're a lunatic. You know what? You lunatic. You tar- try to victimize yourself. You turn around to me and tell me that I don't like you and I give you I shit. try to victimize myself. You said you're going to have a stroke because of me. But you, you're turning <laughs> around now and saying that I'm being a jerk to you when you have had... 
terrible etiquette and behavior during this podcast so far. So and now you. you're turning it on so me. So you. How? What did I do? Th- this episode or the, or the whole podcast? <laughs> I thought you meant the whole show entirely. <laughs> oh, today? Just today? Yeah, you can't turn this on me and say that I, 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 I'm, I'm... But you just dismissed... You just dismissed... I you did said not, cream did, is not heavier than a... Pop- I did not... But but she said she said a goddamn ice rocket pop was a head. Sent That's her Jesus. opinion. She said it was... A, That's her opinion. And my opinion is the other way. Your opinion... You can't have an opinion, though, that cream is not a heavier thing than frozen Why? liquid. Why can't I have an it's opinion? not... It's, Cause that's Sal. That's like saying it's my opinion that steak is not as heavy a food as spinach. It, it it's a heavier food. I think that that it just is. is. Not, that's not cream sickles to cream sickles. If I'm being honest, okay. Oh, okay. The thin layer of vanilla ice cream in the middle of a small. You have said cream repeatedly. Is not going to be like this is so you heavy. You have said repe- a bowl of ice it's cream heavier. You have said repeatedly through this argument, folks. Joe DeRosa here to talk to you about Manscaped. Manscaped, a wonderful sponsor here at the Taste Buds Podcast. It is almost the 4th of July. It's basically here. And what is more American? What is more 4th of July than a bald eagle? You want to talk bald? You got to do some trimming sometimes, especially when you're going to be spending some time outside, swimming around, that sort of thing. You know what kind of trimming I'm talking about. I don't need to get too graphic here. But Manscaped is helping you do it cleanly, efficiently, and without any danger. We've all had a problem or two, a nick or two, if you will, when we're dealing with that area. Manscaped is here to help you prevent that with the Performance Package 4.0. Inside that package, you're getting the Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer. You're getting the Weed Whacker for your ear and nose hair trimming. You're getting the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant keeping you fresh you got crop reviver tone toner you've got performance boxer briefs comfy and you got a little travel bag to hold all those goodies i like what they're doing here again it's it's they're making a product that helps you trim in the downstairs area and the upstairs area that's where the beard hedger trimmer comes in cleanly efficiently safely without all the bumps and nicks and cuts anyway take your freedom bells to the next level Go to manscaped.com. Get 20% off with free shipping when you use the discount code TASTEBUDS20. Again, manscaped.com for 20% off and free shipping with the discount code TASTEBUDS20. Get your independence back this Independence Day and unlock the confidence within you with Manscaped. Your pop, about me, your pop sucks. It's frozen water. And then you're going to, in the in the next breath, say, frozen cream is not heavier than that. Okay. Stop. If you're talking literal, literal. Sure. but if there, That's what we're talking. Hold on. She's talking about how it makes her feel. She's talking about when I eat it. And that makes her feel that way. Sure. And for me, when I eat a creamsicle, I'm not like, oh, God. Okay. Oh, it's so heavy. It's for so you. thick. I can't. For you. And I'm but talking you about me. You didn't say that. You dismissed what you, she said as being a sure. terrible argument. You are. It, Sal, you're terrible. So you Sal. said that's a terrible argument. When, when you when you don't have something to latch on to, no. you start to latch on to things that are the most absurd things no, to no, talk about. No, 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 no. You said that that was a terrible argument. It's not. You just admitted it's if not. If you look at what the, uh, let's just say, what the weight is of a popsicle versus a cream, uh, uh, rocket okay. pop versus a cream, they're probably both like, Three ounces or whatever. You know, heavier so, food doesn't necessarily mean the literal weight. Sure, but I mean, how heavy is that little sliver of cream in between the orange? Wow, the little, little, I love that this, that this, the defining quality of this treat, the amazing center of this treat has now been reduced to a tiny, oh, a wafy, a barely sure. noticeable sliver of cream now that it's convenient. The width of a cream, the width, the width of a, the width of a cream sickle is what, a quarter inch? Oh, God. Total? You what are, the, you are, I, People, I, let me. You people won't even let you say something, and witness. then you won't even let me address your take thing that witness. you just said. You won't take let me prove you wrong. You don't even want to shut up to let me prove you wrong. A creamsicle width in total is about a quarter inch. The inside of that for the vanilla ice cream, by by inherently by nature of that design, is a thin a, layer of cream. I a never, creamsicle is not a quarter inch. First of all, first of all, width width that's about an inch, Sal. A, I'm saying width maybe maybe a half inch. So my point, Joe, is that the fucking Vanilla ice cream in the middle does not amount to something heavy that the stomach can't handle. So, it it's not a matter of the stomach can't handle. It's a matter of cream for some people. I'm not comparing cream to ice, Joe. 
I'm just comparing you the are two, though. But I'm not. I'm not. I'm comparing it in these forms. Okay. If I eat a if I eat a frozen cube of popsicle liquid from an ice cream tray or a frozen cube of cream, the frozen cube of cream is a heavier food. Literally. Yes. But you will but yet, not. She says I don't like it. Because it's too heavy. If you ate one cube of ice cream, you wouldn't be like, oh. Maybe it's too heavy for her. It doesn't mean. Oh, I'm talking about me, bro. You said her argument's a terrible argument. And my opinion of there hers is that. There you go. Oh, you don't think now we're talking in it. opinions? Ding, ding, ding. You oh, think dude, you found out I in episode you know, 200 so, we're saying our opinions? Dude, I'm so happy you just said that. And the psychology 101, every therapist on planet Earth, that would tell you that the owning of your own statement to say, I, in my opinion, that is wrong, or I don't agree with that, is the qualifier of what makes it your opinion. I the love more you talk, that you just said that. The more you that. talk, I mean, I think people are changing the channel. I honestly, oh. you ever see Airplane where the woman won't stop talking next to him and he hangs himself and lights himself on fire? <laughs> you know I'm you're having like, weird visions today. You know, you're like, <laughs> you know what you're like? You're like, the, you're like the guy that goes, you're like the dumb guy that goes, classical music sucks. I love and classical doesn't music. Have the, doesn't have the ability to go, in my opinion, I don't care for classical music. Those are two that's different me. sentences. That's not me. What she also, said is a fair argument. To you, it doesn't bother you. To her, it does. That's the idea of the pot and why I talk. Doesn't mean it's a bad argument. It's a fair argument. I just disagreed with her. You said it's a bad argument. You know argument. what I would love? I you would didn't love, say I disagree. I would love, you I said would it's love, a bad argument. I would love to take each other to court over something and represent ourselves. And I would love a jury and a judge to listen to us argue because... There's no greater satisfaction than if I got legal, official legal people and beat you in an actual trial. I, I love trial. the arrogance <laughs> that you think you would. I would I love the arrogance. you. You are crazy. In one trial, you your are reputation crazy. will be gone Let me tell you why. Let me tell you. Let me tell you why. Because they don't let have me time tell you for why your bullshit. You wouldn't have, well, let me tell you right why you wouldn't have through your bullshit, yeah, buddy. Let me, let me tell you why you wouldn't have a chance, Sal. Why? Because you're not allowed to talk over other people in court. How about that? Okay. I haven't talked over you this episode. Joe, uh, we're both guilty of it. You f***ing yeah. dirty prick. You're a f what are you talking <laughs> about? You know what? You're two douchebags. You're a pack of two douchebags that you buy listen, at like Costco. Listen, the fans have, the fans have seen... The fans have seen, okay? You, you never yelled over me. And you, I love in that the you think... Of, in the history of this podcast, you can't say something oh, that now I we're do talking that you've history, also been guilty of a hundred times. History of the times. podcast, okay, all right. Listen, Joe, I'm just telling you, you something. you scream to the fact that you get purple. I'm just... Oh, you can't deal with the fact that I said to you, she didn't make a bad argument. I could do it. She just made an argument you disagree with. A bad argument would be... I can deal with that fact. A I bad said, argument would be... With that already. A bad argument would be, creamsicles are bad because they go rotten too frequently. That's a bad argument. Sure. It's not a good argument. There's no proof of that. There's nothing to it. What she said is a fact for some people. We're way past that, dude. No. That's her opinion. This is my opinion. I but, don't think she's... So it. say I shouldn't have said it that way. Absolutely not. I fully agree with what I said to begin with. You the said that's of, a bad argument. The amount argument. of vanilla ice cream in a creamsicle is not enough to make me feel like this is heavy, you, this one's not. You. You. Yeah, right. So it's... So just take... Okay. Back. So she has a creamsicle and she has a rocket pop. One of them's like, oh, God. The creamsicle's just too much. Now, I, it's not, again, I think for you... Most people wouldn't say that. For South, They're both two, three. Once ounce again, treats. you have said repeatedly. Maybe some people. Maybe maybe some people. It bothers them. It doesn't bother me. All I'm taking issue with is you saying that's a bad argument. That's not a bad argument. Then if you can recognize that, that's an argument valid for some people. A bad argument is a bad argument. Did I say the words that's a bad argument? Yes, that's what I keep did saying I, to you. Did I say the words that she said that that's a bad argument? Uh, you you dismissed it. I don't remember. Right. Did I say this is a bad you argument? You said that. The thing he's screaming about again that will prove wrong yes. in a couple seconds again. Yeah. He you wants to go. Like he wants to go zero for three in this one. You went like this. You went. That's a bad argument. It, 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 in my it was, opinion, for the reasons I'm saying, Joe, it is enough with the semantics. You're latching onto that's something not because semantics. the wheels are falling off your other arguments. That's not semantics. And I got I news for you, buddy. A in a court of law, in a court of law. All you got is semantics, all right? You want to talk about not getting Joe, semantics? I swear to God, we should, we should look into, please, if we could take each other to court and represent ourselves. Let's go to small claims court. <laughs> let's think of something that's true that we have a di different opinion on that we disagree with, and let's go to small claims court. I don't care if it's fucking $100, and we represent each other. I, I need to do it, and I need to do it fast. I need to do it this week. I want to beat you in court you this week. You just got a bloodlust. You just got a bloodlust. You're just mad you about it earlier with the sick I want it thing. to be televised. 
And I want Hell everyone to. I want to kill you're, you. You're spiraling. I can't wait. You're spiraling. I can't wait until you start yelling and have memories. And the judge like slams the gavel and tells you. Okay. I can't wait. And I can't wait till the judge goes. You're gaslighting, Sal. Stop it. Stop yeah, okay, it. Okay, Joe. Okay. All right. All right. How about we uh, let the fans decide in the comments and bring it up next week? Please, please. Let's let the fans decide. You sure. heard it. The argument look, about look, the say creation. Yours and I'll say mine. We'll just say clean. Say it. say it for 30 seconds clean just so they understand. All right, don't interrupt me then. Go ahead. My problem was the person who said that creamsicle is a heavier treat. My problem is not whether or not that bothers Sal or Sal agrees with it. My problem is that Sal said that's a bad argument and dismissed it as if it couldn't possibly be true that cream is a heavier food than frozen water, as he has put it. And just because he doesn't think that, in a moment where it was convenient for him, despite saying repeatedly, factually, sure, cream is heavier, that he dismissed that as a bad argument. Therein, it is not a bad argument. It is just something that doesn't bother him, but bothers other people. So I can't have the opinion that that's not a strong argument. You a can't. AKA a bad argument. I'm confused my, my, because my, when you say, my opinion is I, mean, a, I'm I think it's a weak, a weak or a bad argument because if we're dealing in actual size, like if she was going to eat like you know, a, 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 a you know a, a cup like a cup of frozen ice or a cup of ice cream, yes, uh, when you get exponentially larger, the cream is heavier. But in the two things we're comparing, there is not enough vanilla cream in there to substantiate a difference. Technically, and that's why I think it's not a strong, good argument. You're you're because I think that I can say my po my point makes sense. At that level, at two ounces for the whole bar, the vanilla cream doesn't really play a factor, the thickness of it, against the, the Rocket Pop in this scenario, which is the only specific two things we're talking about. Sure, on a bigger level or in general, if you get if you have a lot more ice cream and a lot more ice, the cream is heavier. But I don't think it comes into play here because I think it's too minute. And that was my point. And that's a fine point to say that she's got a weak argument there. That is totally normal. I disagree. I think you dismissed her argument because it doesn't apply to you. And I think somebody who I just explained. I know. I understand. So what? Now you're telling me that I didn't say what I what I just said. Why I said it? You just said it. You now. said I disagree. You. I think you. You just hold on. You just said it. Now. Don't tell me I didn't say what I've been saying the whole time. Just hold now. on a second. Hold on a second. Oh, I gotta. Get, I gotta take. I gotta. I gotta I take it. Calm down. All right, all Relax. Right. It's hard. It's hard. Calm it's down. Hard. You guys. And by the way, somebody who's lactose intolerant doesn't matter how much cream it is. Okay, cream is triggering. <laughs> you don't know her. <laughs> and by the way. You have a disrespect for the lactose intolerant because I have an ice cream issue. I for, was lactose intolerant, I, you fucking I, asshole I've had douche. A, I've had an ice cream issue for years that you refuse to recognize. <laughs> Every time I see you, you say you want some ice cream. And I say, I can't eat ice cream. And you go, what are you talking about? Next week, get me a blow-up doll, throw a pair of glasses on it, and put it there because it's the same fucking thing. Okay? <laughs> I, I'd rather talk to a blow-up doll. That's mean. That, that blow-up doll will have mo better points That's mean. than this man right here. That's mean. I don't know how you are alive. Because, you're, <laughs> because you walk around and you have to make decisions all day. And the amount of compounded bad takes you have, you should be in a ditch somewhere at this point. Because you don't, you are not like another human being. Yeah. You're contrarian yeah. for just the sake of it. No, that's you not true. You hate everything. You argue about everything. You have a generally unpleasant disposition that you bring with you everywhere. And to, wow. to know that you made it to 45 or 46 is really outstanding. Okay. I actually commend you for it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Am I lobbing back at you? Salty. Am I lobbing back at you? I'll lob right back at you. Sorry I don't walk around bubbly because I don't have a famous TV show where everybody around me wipes my ass every five minutes for me. You, you, oh, sorry, you I'm out there in the real world you and you're walking narrative. around with a group of people going, Sal, is everything okay? Is the tea warm enough, Sal? I, I have so Sal, much, I have did so we much get, to say to this. Did so we I'm get the pretzels that you like, Sal? Are they too salty, Sal? I'm sorry, I'm out there dishing it up with the real people, dealing with the real problems, on the train. My show is based about me talking to real people. But again, I'll let you finish because I can <laughs> I can counter this and demolish you in a second. So go ahead. Go ahead. Counter. Okay. 
this narrative that you always try to push, sometimes when we get heated over the course of these two years, yeah. is something that you literally made up, right? I don't right. act like that. I don't have people around me like that. Nothing like that happens. You're just taking a pot shot because it's kind of low-hanging fruit, and you think you can apply it because people don't know me well. But I don't have a team of people around me. I'm the most average person in the world. I don't think I'm better than anyone. I don't act like that. It just doesn't exist. I didn't say you but did. You push it. I didn't say you acted better than you anyone. Said I have, but you said I have a team of people around me kissing my ass. Hey, it's just me. Do, do, is this too salty? Is this that? I have a famous TV show. I'm not with the regular people. That's would such, you, a, such hog shit. Would you not say... Would you not say you wouldn't know if you didn't know me? I, I don't act like that. I don't. I didn't say I don't, you I'm not like flashy that. like that. I never I don't said treat that. people. Like I never that. said that. But you that. have no basis. No one's ever thought that. You just—it's so easy for you to go. You're famous, and so you are disconnected. And it's and, and you it's have not money. And it's not equally easy for you to go. You're a grump, and you're a disposition. No, blah, blah, blah. you're just so grumpy. <laughs> The thing you said is not you're right. true. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Bo boatloads of money and fame don't add to a joyous disposition. You're right. You're That's right. That's the argument now? You just changed it. it. I didn't change it. My point is, is we could take cheap shots at each other all day about why I we act the way we bubbly because of fame? Babe, it's in my DNA. Oh, please. It's in your DNA. It's up your ass. <laughs> It's all Please. over. You, you got a dark so side now you, to you. Now you're yelling at me. You got a dark I'm... side to you, and I got a bubbliness to me. <laughs> and the, we don't let the we don't let the world often see that other side of us, but it's there. <laughs> and you know it's there. Oh, you're so funny. You're getting you now. Now the thing you have against me is that I'm bubbly. No, you. I'm saying you're saying I'm a grump. You know I have a tender, wonderful <laughs> side. Of course, I didn't say you didn't do that. I didn't Nobody's say... more sentimental than me. I didn't... Please. I'm probably the only, maybe. You, I, you look competitive, sure, yes. But please, you know but how I, sentimental I, I am. I didn't say that you didn't have that. You, you well, added you that. Said, you, said, uh, you said you have a, a shitty, whatever the term was, disposition. But you would agree. I think to say I carry it everywhere, you made it sound like I'm, I'm walking around like a you dark cloud. I mean. You know what I mean. All right, well, you know what I mean. I'm saying we're both low-hanging fruit things uh, that we're going after here. I don't here. think so, Joe. I don't think so because the thing you said doesn't sure. isn't real. Oh, you're rich and you're famous. The thing and you said you're about happy. me isn't no, real. real. Do I walk into a room going Bleh. at times? Oh, stop it! Stop. At times, you wouldn't agree, Joe. You wouldn't agree for real. And at times, at times, do you not enjoy the perks of <laughs> of, a, of, a, of a pampered lifestyle? And would he never? Sure. Oh, please, sure. Come on, never, never. Ever. But what, what is the pampered lifestyle you're talking of? I'm just saying you're calling me a grump. You're saying what I'm saying to you is low-hanging fruit. I'm saying you're saying low-hanging fruit, and I'm, I'm taking so a shot saying back. If I have extra extra income to spend sometimes frivolously or to make I'm me happy. I'm saying Mr. Bubbly over here. Uh, yeah. Because, you I, know. because dude, I've been I've been I've been poor in my life. I've had no health coverage. I grew up lower middle class. I worked for 20 years I to get where I am right you were now. Break, you, you want to use it against me? You, you, you're using I'm just. I I'm don't just, understand. I'm just speaking this, this to what you said. Me, this drives me crazy I'm just about you. To what you. This said. drives me crazy about you. It's a weird double standard you have. You'll take like a really personal shot, jovially, but it's personal. And then I don't, don't do that thing where you're getting personal. I didn't get. personal. I'm not getting. It's, but <laughs> but your retort to it is these like fundamental truths about why what I'm Wait, saying are is you now false. having a problem with. The way that I'm defending the argument. I'm just saying the thing you that made you do, a that you do a lot with like, oh, I'm in my castle. Yes, because you it's so far off. You took a broad swing at me. It was funny. I you are known to be grumpy. I called you grumpy. You are known to be famous and wealthy. I called you famous and wealthy. No, you didn't. You took No, you didn't. We you took... said my attitude is such that people serve me and I'm in my castle and I'm no, only happy. It was a joke. You made it. I know. <laughs> It's the point of the podcast. So let it. So just leave it at the joke. Is my point. You took a broad stroke at me. I took one Joe, back. I'll at stop you. talking about it anytime you want. This is you did literally the nature of what we're supposed to be doing. And now you're saying that the things are getting too personal. At all? Not at all. Okay, fine. I'm not offended then, then in I'll, any way. Then I think I'll, we're trying to make jokes here. Okay, then I'll retort to what you said to me in the way that you retorted to what you said to me. Here's fundamentally why it's not true that I'm a grump. I deal with the real world every day, and people are shitty, and I get annoyed at things, That's fair. and I show That's it to people. That's a great defense. Okay, great. I, I don't have any issue. I want to defend it. I just want to assault you, <laughs> Joe. I'm, I got to be honest today. I'm in a tizzy because I can't follow you today. I, the logic leaps that you're I making. I love that you think it's just me. It's amazing. It's amazing. I don't know, bro. I, I, don't, I don't know. know. Read the comments sometime. <laughs> I don't know. Peruse the comments sometime. Uh, you'll see. That there's at? two Where people at? at work here. We got to wrap up. Okay.
All right. All right, Ooh, we read it's hot the, in here. We read the phones. Let's just go to Humble Pie. Uh, I hope I fucking win this, but I think you're going to win. I don't know. I the Rocket Pop is just more, it has just more of a, it's more famous. <laughs> 4,600 votes. Here we go. I know I'm going to win. Oh, it was close. It was close. It is a comeback trail. Blazing the comeback trail. Rocket Pop by 53.2%. Creamsicle loses at 46.8. It is close, 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 but I still love you, buddy. I love you, too. Taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come into the mic.